everyone, I'm Jess, and this week we're taking a look at the cyberpunk gameplay, a surprise reveal from Streets of Rage, and winding it back to our first Arkham encounter. Here's the TLDR. Fans of the long-awaited CD Projekt Red game Cyberpunk 2077 were treated to a 48-minute gameplay reveal earlier this week. The upcoming game, scheduled for 2019, will feature a lot of customization options and an RPG system, allowing you to put points into your background and attributes. These customizations will also extend to appearance, meaning every player can create their own likeness or new character to explore this huge and intriguing world. For a full look at what's to come, click the link below. Streets of Rage is returning. After 24 years, the cult classic revival was announced by Sega just a few days ago. It's been almost a quarter of a century since players enjoyed the 90s iconic side-scrolling beat-em-up, and the internet and fandom is in meltdown after Sega's announcement. Although we don't have any platforms, release dates, or further details, we do have the teaser trailer, so make sure you check that out in the description. Adorable Dino Park simulator Parkosaurus will enter early access in just a few weeks' time. Plan, design, and build fabulous exhibits and fill them with dinosaurs in this colourful simulator with stunning 3D flat design graphics. Maximise the happiness of your dinos and your guests as you start with nothing but a dream and an abandoned park. Early access starts from September 25th on Steam. With only a week to go until the hugely anticipated Spider-Man game on PS4, Insomniac and Sony have announced future content drops and dates. The City That Never Sleeps will contain three content drops spread out over the following months. The first of these, The Heist, will be available on October 23rd, followed by Turf Wars in November and Silver Lining in December. Each new bit of content will contain new missions, challenges and suits, as well as new enemies to fight. Having got hands-on with Spider-Man at i63 last weekend in Birmingham, we're really excited to get our hands on the final product next week. Mystery-filled, untitled Goose Game is coming to the Switch. Play as a goose on a mission in this cute and playful 2019 release. Described by the developers as a lovely morning in the village and you're a horrible goose, players must make their way around town, from people's back gardens to the high street, setting up pranks, stealing hats and doing a lot of honking. It's your job to ruin everyone's day in this slapstick stealth sandbox and we can't wait to get our hands on it. This week, Strange Brigade came out on PS4 and Xbox One. Set in the 1930s, you'll explore ancient ruins in Egypt as you fight Satiki, the Witch Queen. We got hands-on with the Collector's Edition. As well as a copy of the game in an exclusive steelbook featuring a stylized image of the Witch Queen, anyone who buys the Collector's Edition will also receive bonus digital content in the form of the Secret Service Weapon Pack. There's also a 64-page art book showing you the world and weapons of Strange Brigade, a lovely accompaniment displaying the art style of the game. Our favourite piece, though, is definitely the 30cm build-your-own airship that rounds the whole edition off. Made from cardboard parts, this had us wanting to fly to Egypt to tackle the Queen ourselves, or maybe reenact that wonderful scene from Last Crusade, but with less fire and explosions. We wouldn't want to damage this lovely collectible. The whole thing comes packaged in an exclusive collector's edition box. Stock on this collector's edition is very low, so if you're interested, make sure you check it out now in store. We've also got a competition running to win one, so keep an eye out on our Twitter for details. Little Dragon's Cafe is the brand new simulation title from the creator of the Harvest Moon series and comes to both PS4 and Switch on the 7th of September. A twin brother and sister peacefully run a small cafe with their mother. That is, until one morning their mother won't wake up from a deep sleep. A visit from an old wizard tells them that their mother is gravely ill and the only way to save her is to raise a dragon. Working alongside their three quirky team members, the twins must work to raise their dragon and manage the family business, whilst at the same time trying to work out what is causing their mother's illness. Experience Lara Croft's defining moment as she becomes the Tomb Raider in Shadow of the Tomb Raider when it arrives on PS4, Xbox One and PC on September 14th. Lara must master a deadly jungle, overcome terrifying tombs and persevere through her darkest hour. Outgunned and outnumbered, Lara will learn to use the jungle to her advantage, using mud as camouflage to strike suddenly and then disappear. With underwater environments to explore and tombs that are more terrifying than ever, Lara must race to save the world from a Mayan apocalypse as she is forged into the Tomb Raider she is destined to be. NBA are celebrating 20 years of gameplay this year when NBA 2K19 launches on Xbox One, PS4 and PC on September 7th. Enjoy the best basketball simulation experience in the NBA as you rise to the top or take your skills to the streets in an open world and immersive neighbourhood mode. Customers who pre-order the 20th anniversary edition will be able to play the game four days early and receive 100,000 virtual currency, as well as LeBron-themed digital items and much more.
This week in 2009, we were introduced to the groundbreaking and critically acclaimed Batman Arkham series. Arkham Asylum came out on the 28th of August on PS3, Xbox 360 and PC. Developed by Rocksteady Studios in conjunction with Warner Bros, Arkham Asylum was written by Batman writer Paul Dini and was well received and praised for its innovative gameplay, world and ideas. Inspired by the long-running comics, Arkham Asylum pits the Batman against the Joker as the Joker aims to seize control of Arkham Asylum, trapping Batman inside with his most feared enemies. Batman is forced to battle his way through the Asylum to reach the Joker, facing some of the most iconic villains from the series on his way. The Arkham games focus on Batman's combat and stealth abilities, utilising his detective skills and gadgets in both fights and exploration. As you can freely move around the Asylum, side quests are available away from the main storyline providing hundreds of collectibles and easter eggs for you to discover. The combat system allows you to chain moves together, flying from enemy to enemy in order to rack up the highest combos and deal more damage. Progressing through the game will unlock more moves and more gadgets to use as you fight your way to the Joker and the end game. The game was a huge success and Rocksteady followed it up with Arkham City in 2011, before rounding off their trilogy with Arkham Knight in 2015. Thanks for joining us for this week's TLDR. We'll be back in the same place at the same time next week. It's payday weekend and game are celebrating in style with loads of deals across a variety of ranges. Head in store or online now. Click the link below. Described by the developers as a lovely morning in the village and you're a horrible... Described by the developers as a lovely morning in the village and you're a horrible... Described by the developers as a lovely morning... In Described by the developers as a lovely morning in the village. <laughs> Described by... No! <laughs> <laughs>